Why should I vote Democrat for president in 2020? It's your fun-loving, animated, talking head friend, Callous Mind, back with another thought-provoking episode of the Talking Head Podcast. In this video, I want to pretend I am an undecided voter in 2020. And I want you beautiful viewers to tell me in the comment section below why I should vote Democrat. In the lead up to the 2020 Democratic presidential candidate nomination and general election, I'm going to make a series of videos asking why I should vote Democrat. My question to those of you watching this video is sincere, seriously. Why should I vote Democrat for president? For example, Democrats seem to dislike law enforcement and they seem to pick and choose what laws are enforced. This picking and choosing of what laws to enforce sets a dangerous precedent for the general public. How can you expect law enforcement to perform their job at the highest possible level when you send mixed signals about what laws should be enforced and which laws should be ignored. As a law-abiding citizen of the United States of America, I'm not sure I could ever bring myself to vote for a party whose elected officials choose to break the law by not enforcing laws such as immigration laws. These elected officials put citizens of their states and country at risk by not enforcing laws. Think I'm being overly dramatic? Let's talk about Kate Steinle. On July 1st, 2015, 32-year-old Kate Steinle was shot by Jose Inez Garcia Zorate while walking with her father and a friend along Pier 14 in the Embarcadero district of San Francisco. Zarate claimed a gun had fired accidentally while he was picking it up. He claimed he had found the gun moments before wrapped in cloth beneath the bench on which he was sitting. The shot ricocheted off the concrete deck of the pier, striking the victim in the back. Steinle died two hours later in a hospital as a result of her injuries. On November 30th, 2017, after five days of deliberations, a jury acquitted Garcia Zarate of all murder and manslaughter charges. He was convicted of being a felon in possession of a firearm, but that conviction was overturned on appeal on August 30th, 2019. The shooting elicited controversy and political debate over San Francisco's status as a sanctuary city, as Garcia Zarate is an illegal immigrant residing in the United States. Donald Trump at the time, a presidential candidate, cited Garcia Zarate in support of his proposal to deport criminal undocumented immigrants living in the United States and mentioned Steinle during his acceptance speech at the 2016 Republican National Convention. For those that say, oh my gosh, that was a long time ago, here's a story about a more recent tragedy. Mother of slain California woman accuses Oakland mayor of protecting suspect and illegal immigrant. And you can see here, this was published on January 9th. The mother of a 19-year-old California woman who was murdered last month allegedly by an illegal immigrant spoke out against the state's sanctuary policies that she said led to her daughter's death. I feel that she has no concern for the citizens that are already here who have been born and raised here for generations. Shauna White told Tucker Carlson tonight when asked about Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff, who made headlines in 2018 when she posted a warning that Immigration and Customs Enforcement was preparing to conduct an operation in the Bay Area, including Oakland. White's daughter Madison was shot in a road rage accident after she got into a fender bender, White explained. The suspect has been identified in court documents as Roberto Martinez, 19, an illegal immigrant living in Hayward, California. When she got out of the car to take care of it with the insurance, he, Martinez, became aggressive, White claimed. 
He's well known over there to rob people. When she didn't have anything else to offer him, he attacked her. He punched her in the face and continued to hit her. White said Madison eventually returned to her car and was attempting to film Martina's license plate when he allegedly fatally shot her. He let out 10 rounds on my daughter. He killed her, an emotional White alleged. He just, he killed her. White claimed that Schaff cares only about lining her own pockets and her own agenda. Martinez reportedly fled to Mexico following the killing. White claimed that a photo of the suspect that could aid investigators has not been released due to Schaff's personal agenda. As always, I will provide attribution links to this information in the description box below. I thank those of you that have made it this far. If you've enjoyed the content, perhaps you will consider sharing it, leaving a thumbs up, and subscribing to my thought-provoking YouTube channel. Want to stay up to date with my calloused mind during the rest of the week? Be sure to like and follow the Callous Mind Facebook page by following the link in the description box below. Thank you all again for watching. Have a great rest of the week, and I'll talk to you again soon. God bless.